Victor Wembanyama is absolutely destroying the NBA in his rookie year, so let's look at 10 things we didn't know about Wemby. First of all, both of his parents were elite athletes when they were younger, so it makes sense that Wembanyama is the athletic freak that he is. His father, Felix Wembanyama, is Congolese and was a track and field athlete competing in the high jump, long jump, and triple jump. Listed at 6'6", his genetics definitely contributed to Victor's height, but also teaching him and his siblings how to run was significant in their athletic development, as there is a right and wrong way to run. Victor's mother, Elodie de Fodoro, was his biggest inspiration on the basketball side of things, as she was a former professional basketball player turned basketball coach, standing at six foot three. He learned how to play basketball from his mother when he was four years old. She was a little league coach and taught basketball at the youth level. Once Victor began playing seriously and started to pursue the sport as a career, she stepped back and let him train under professionals. Number two, sticking to the family side of things, both of Victor's siblings play professional basketball. His older sister, Eve Wembanyama, is a 22-year-old 6'1 pro basketball player who previously played for Monaco in France. Last season playing small forward, she averaged 6.4 points and 5.4 rebounds, with a career high of 17 points. She also represented France in the FIBA 3-on-3 tournaments. In the last 3-on-3 tournament, she helped France get to the quarterfinal where they lost to China. Victor's younger brother, Oscar Wembanyama, picked up the basketball at a much later time in his life, at the age of 15. Now 17 years old, he is already playing professionally and is tipped to make the French 21 and under team. He has already helped the French team win a national title with the 16 and under team and is currently playing for Victor's old team, Asvel. Standing at 6 foot 8, he is incredibly tall for a teenager, but Victor was already 7 feet tall by that age, so the playing style may be slightly different. Different. Fact number three, Victor's first sport was not basketball despite his height and mother's background in the sport, instead, it was football. Football is big all over Europe, but especially in France who have a history, having some of the most talented national teams in world football. He credited playing football at a young age for helping him develop his footwork early on, and as he switched to being a goalkeeper, he became more coordinated with his hands. As well as playing football, he also took part in judo lessons as a kid, before he ultimately made the switch to basketball. Number four, Victor Wembanyama was the second youngest player to ever play in the Euro Cup at 15 years, 9 months and 25 days old. He was the second youngest player after Stefan Petkovic. Wemby played for multiple European teams before he joined the Spurs, including Nanterre 92, Asvel, and Metropolitans 92. He even had a stint at Barcelona, which has a history of being an elite European team. But Wemby declined an offer to continue his career with Barcelona, sitting that the coaches were not willing to challenge him. Wemby spent most of his time in the LNB Pro Aligu in France, playing for Metropolitans 92, and broke a number of records including becoming the youngest player to win the LNB Pro AMVP award, as well as being the first player in the league's history to be named best defender, best scorer, best young player, and best blocker in in one season, having one of the best seasons in the league's history. Number 5. Wemby is the only NBA player to be an official ambassador for a designer brand when he became Louis Vuitton's newest ambassador earlier this year. Typically, NBA players are sponsored by sports brands like Nike, Adidas, and Puma, but haven't yet tapped into the luxury side of brand endorsements, except for a couple appearances at a fashion week. Victor felt that the Louis Vuitton brand accurately represents his brand due to the French connection and standing for excellence in the country. This could potentially open up the luxury world to the personal brands of athletes. There are other sports that are seen as more classy to brands, such as tennis and golf, meaning that it is not uncommon to see luxury sponsorships such as Rolex, sponsoring tournaments and players. Wemby could possibly help bridge the gap between American sports and luxury brands, which could lead to more and more companies seeing the value in having an NBA player as the face of their brand. Number 6. Wembenyama's debut jersey sold for 700k at auction. Coming into the NBA, Wemby was one of the most hyped prospects of all time, and coming into the league was met with a lot of expectations. The narrative before he even played his first game was that if he doesn't retire on the same level as LeBron James, Michael Jordan, or Kobe Bryant, then he has underperformed in comparison to his potential. With that being said, collector's items are more valuable if they are attached to a certain milestone or achievement, and the first NBA game of the most hyped prospect 
since LeBron will definitely be even more valuable if everything goes to plan for Wemby. LeBron's NBA Finals jersey from 2013 sold for $3.6 million in 2023, which shows just how high certain jerseys can go for. Even when it comes to trading cards, Victor has proved to be extremely valuable, with a pre-NBA edition of his card going for $67,000. Number 7. Victor has broken many records in his first year in the NBA, but the most impressive may be the 5x5 five five record. This is when a player can accumulate at least 5 points, rebounds, assists, steals, and blocks in a single game. Wemby achieved this on the 23rd of February, with 27 points, 10 rebounds, 8 assists, 5 steals, and 5 blocks in a loss to the Los Angeles Lakers. He became the youngest player in NBA history to record a 5x5 five five and did so in 30 minutes, the fewest minutes played in NBA history to achieve such a feat. This is a stat that has only been achieved by the legendary big men of the game, such as Hakeem Olajuwon, David Robinson, and Anthony Davis. To be in the record books with such players at such a young age puts into perspective how generational of a talent that Victor truly is. He has also broken a number of other records, such as becoming the first rookie in NBA history to have back-to-back -back games of at least 25 points, 10 rebounds, 5 assists, and five blocks, and becoming the first rookie since Tim Duncan to put up at least 200 blocks in a season. Number 8. Victor Wembanyama is not in the top 10 tallest NBA players of all time. Despite his unique frame, the belief that Wembanyama must be one of the tallest players in NBA history is false. Officially listed at 7 foot 3 and a half, Wemby falls short of the 10th tallest player in NBA history, Mark Eaton, who was officially listed at 7 foot 4 and had a great career playing 12 seasons for the Utah Jazz and setting the record for the most blocks in an NBA season with 456. The tallest NBA player in history is Georgi Murasan, who stands at 7 foot 7, which is roughly 4 inches taller than Victor. Murasan played in the NBA for 7 years between 1993 and 2000, first for the Washington Bullets, which also signed 7 foot 7 Manute Bowl, and then he played for the New Jersey Nets. The difference between Victor and the other extremely tall players in NBA history is the skill set, because Wemby truly plays like a guard. Number 9. LeBron James was the first player to stamp him with his nickname. Victor is known as an alien, and even has whole Nike marketing campaigns behind the nickname. LeBron gave him this term because the term unicorn was often used to describe NBA players that are unique in some way. But after meeting Wemby, LeBron felt that the unicorn term was not fitting for Victor. Instead, LeBron used the term alien to describe him. Victor ran with it and will likely have a signature shoe in the next few years, and this will likely be the theme. To be co-signed by arguably the greatest player of all time at such a young age is a nod to the trust that the older generation have in Victor to push the game forward. Number 10. Victor has been the projected number one pick since he was 16 years old. In the world of social media, talent is found younger and younger, but few are seen as a solidified number one pick before they have even finished high school. Footage of Victor playing one-on-one -on -one against at the time NBA Defensive Player of the Year Rudy Gobert went viral and the wider basketball world took notice of Wemby. Four years ago in the build-up to the 2020 draft when Victor was just 16, an NBA scout said that they would choose Victor over any of the draft prospects. This was a wild thing to say during any draft class, but with players in that class including Anthony Edwards, Tyrese Halliburton and LaMelo Ball, that statement is even crazier. 